Section. Introduction. We're going to discuss a common issue with large language models, LLMs, which is their limited context window length. This limitation is due to the fixed length of training sequences used during the pre-training stage. If the input text length exceeds this pre-training context window during the inference stage, the ILM's performance can become unpredictable and degrade significantly. This degradation is evident in the perplexity metric, which tends to skyrocket with longer input sequences. To address this, various methods have been developed to extend the context window size of pre-trained LLMs. One straightforward approach is to fine-tune these models on longer texts. Other methods aim to extend the context window with minimal or no fine-tuning, which is more efficient. However, these methods often require some fine-tuning steps, which can be resource-intensive and time-consuming. Moreover, these methods are based on the assumption that pre-trained LLMs struggle with long content, which may lead to overfitting to specific long sequences and a loss of performance on shorter sequences. Some methods try to avoid fine-tuning altogether, relying mostly on local information in the sequence. However, these methods may not effectively expand the context window, as they only use local tokens and don't increase the overall context handling capacity of the LLMs. As a result, they may not fully utilize the potential of extending the context window in LLMs and may perform poorly. In this paper, we argue that LLMs should inherently be able to handle long contexts. This belief is based on our own human experience. As children, we learn to read and write using short texts, yet we can understand long texts effectively. Therefore, we believe that the poor performance of LLMs with long texts is not due to a lack of long context understanding capabilities. We suggest that there should be a way to bring out the inherent long context capability of LLMs. We found that the main challenge preventing LLMs from effectively handling long contexts is the out of distribution, OOD, issues related to positional encoding which we refer to as the positional OOD issue. This issue arises when LLMs encounter text sequences during inference that are longer than their pre-training context window. In such cases, LLMs are exposed to new relative distances that they didn't encounter during pre-training. Neural networks are known to behave unpredictably when dealing with OOD inputs. To address this, we propose a solution called self-extend, which aims to bring out the inherent long context capabilities of LLMs. Self-extend uses a simple floor division operation to map unseen large relative positions to those encountered during pre-training. This approach is based on two insights. One, for texts with a long distance between words, the exact position doesn't need to be precise. It's enough to understand the overall meaning of the text as long as the relative ordering of the different parts is maintained. Two, in natural language texts, a small group of words, n-grams, usually appears together in one area and all the tokens in that group have only one possible order due to language grammar conventions. Self-extend is a plug-and-play method that works at the inference stage, making it easy for existing large language models to adopt. We tested self-extend with three popular LLMs on three types of tasks, language modeling, synthetic long context tasks, and real-world long context tasks. The results showed that self-extend significantly improves the long context understanding ability and even outperforms fine-tuning based methods on some tasks. In summary, we believe that LLMs with relative positional encoding, rope, naturally have the ability to handle long texts, even if they haven't encountered super long ones during training. The previous limitation comes from out of distribution positions, meaning the larger positions haven't been seen during training. We call this the positional OOD issue. To address this issue, we propose self-extend to extend the context window of LLMs without any fine-tuning. Our method maps the unseen large relative positions, at inference, to known positions, at training, allowing LLMs to maintain coherence over longer texts without additional fine-tuning. On both synthetic and real-world long context tasks, self-extend can achieve comparable or even better performance than many existing fine-tuning-based models. Section Summary most existing large language models, LLMs, have a limited context window length, which leads to unpredictable behavior and performance degradation when faced with long input sequences. Previous methods for extending the context window either require resource-intensive fine-tuning or rely on local information, resulting in inferior performance. In this paper, we propose self-extend, 
a plug-and-play method that addresses the positional out of distribution (OOD) issue by remapping unseen relative positions to those encountered during pre-training, allowing LLMs to effectively handle longer contexts without fine-tuning. Self-extend outperforms fine-tuning-based methods on various tasks, demonstrating the potential of LLMs to handle long contexts. Section. Preliminary. Let's start by discussing the basics of our research. We're looking at how transformers, a type of machine learning model, use position information. There are two main ways they do this, absolute position embeddings and relative positional encodings. Absolute position embeddings give the exact positions of elements in a sequence, and these are added to word embeddings before being fed into the model. Examples include sinusoidal position embeddings and learned position embeddings used in models like GPT-3 and OPT. On the other hand, relative positional encodings use the distance between elements in a sequence. This has become the more popular method and is often used in attention layers. Examples include a learnable attention logit bias used in models like T5 and Transformer XL, and a fixed linear attention decay called alibi. Our work is based on the rotary position embedding rope method. Previous research has shown that rope can effectively manage longer text sequences. The basic idea of rope is to incorporate positional information into the query and key vectors. This ensures that their dot product will contain the relative positional embedding information. To achieve this, rope uses certain vector transformations and functions. These functions inject positional information into the vectors. Rope keeps the real part of the dot product of the query and key vectors, which ensures that the dot product depends entirely on the relative distance between the tokens. Studies have shown that rope can adapt to longer sequence lengths when pre-trained on shorter ones with fine tuning. We believe that language models with rope have the ability to process long contexts, and our work focuses on harnessing this capability without the need for fine tuning. Next, we conducted a preliminary investigation on the ability of language models to handle long content. We found that language models fail on input out of the pre-training context window due to the out-of-distribution issue of relative distance. To bypass the length limitation while maintaining long-distance information, we propose conducting group attention with the floor operation. This operation can maintain the order information among tokens and is simple and easy to implement. We found that language models can work well without accurate position information, but not perfectly. We also found that the language modeling performance degrades slightly with the floor operation. However, this supports our assumption about the course position encoding. To reconstruct the degraded language modeling ability caused by the group attention, we propose reintroducing normal attention in the neighbor area. This is because the neighbor tokens are the most important tokens to a certain token. If we use the previously mentioned grouped attention, the precise position still needs to be provided. Therefore, we need to keep the attention mechanism unchanged in the neighbor area, which would be the normal attention used in the pre-training stage. Section Summary In this preliminary section, the authors discuss the different types of position embeddings used in transformers, including absolute position embeddings and relative positional encodings. They introduce the concept of rotary position embedding, rope, and explain how it incorporates positional information into the query and key vectors. The authors also propose a method called self-extend context window, which uses the floor operation to map new relative positions into those seen during pre-training, allowing LLMs to handle longer sequences without fine-tuning. They show that LLMs can still maintain good language modeling performance with the floor operation, and suggest reintroducing normal attention in the neighbor area to reconstruct degraded language modeling ability caused by group attention. Section. Self-extend LLM context window without tuning. We're introducing a new method called self-extend, which uses two types of attention, grouped attention and normal attention. Grouped attention is used for tokens that are far apart, while normal attention is used for neighboring tokens within a certain range. The self-extend method only changes the attention mechanism during the inference process and doesn't require any additional fine-tuning or training. To explain this in simpler terms, imagine we have a context window size, a group size for grouped attention, and a window size for neighboring tokens. We adjust the relative position of grouped attention before combining the two types of attention. This is done to ensure a smooth transition from the normal attention area to the grouped attention area. We then replace the attention values outside the neighboring token window with the attention values from the grouped attention. 
All these changes are made before the softmax operation, and the rest of the process remains the same. For instance, if we extend the context window from its original length of 7 to 10, we can see how this works in practice. We tested self-extend using the LAMA2 families, which are widely used and popular. We also conducted experiments with other rope-based models, including the popular model Mistral and Solar. We evaluated self-extend's effectiveness on three types of tasks, language modeling, synthetic long context tasks, and real long context tasks. We also evaluated it on standard short context tasks. In terms of language modeling, we tested self-extend's performance on PG-19, a dataset containing long books. We used the first sentence of each book in the test set to evaluate the language modeling ability. We used a metric called perplexity, PPL, to measure the results. We found that self-extend was able to extend the original LAMA 2's context window length from 4096 to larger than 16384 with a group size set as 8 and a neighbor window set as 1024. We also tested self-extend on synthetic long context tasks. One such task was the PASCII retrieval task, which requires a language model to find a simple PASCII, a five-digit random number, in a long, meaningless text sequence. This task tests whether a language model can be aware of the information across all positions of the input sequence. We found that self-extend could achieve a 100% PASCII retrieval accuracy without any fine-tuning. However, we also found that a low PPL does not necessarily mean a model can handle long contexts. This is because PPL is calculated by averaging over many tokens, and as long as most tokens are modeled well, PPL will not be high. This is closely related to neighboring tokens. Information from neighboring tokens can be enough for predicting most tokens, resulting in a low PPL. However, a few important tokens, which are related to understanding long context and answering questions, may not be predicted well. Section Summary The proposed method, self-extend, modifies the attention mechanism during inference to extend the context window without the need for fine-tuning or training. It uses grouped attention for tokens with long distance and normal attention for neighbor tokens within a certain range. The effectiveness of self-extend is evaluated on language modeling tasks, synthetic long context tasks, and real long context tasks, showing improved performance in handling long contexts compared to other models like Mistral. Section. Performance on real long context tasks. We've been studying how to improve the performance of language models on tasks that require understanding long contexts. Many existing methods for extending the context length of language models rely on language modeling, measured by perplexity or PPL, and synthetic tasks like PASCII retrieval. However, these tasks don't fully capture the ability of language models to handle long contexts. For instance, PASCII retrieval is relatively simple, and a language model might struggle with long contexts even if it has a low PPL score. To better assess how well language models handle long contexts, we use two real-world benchmarks, LongBench and LEVAL. We found that applying our method, called self-extend, significantly improved the performance of all three base models we tested on most datasets. However, self-extend didn't improve performance on some datasets, such as multi-news, which we believe is due to the relatively short length of these datasets. We also found that self-extend performed comparably or even better than many fine-tuned models. For example, we used self-extend to increase the context window of the LAMA 2-7B chat model from 4000 to 16000 and 25000. Both settings outperformed the original LAMA 2-7B chat model and all fine-tuned counterparts on several datasets. We also extended the context window of the Vicuña 1.5-7B model from 4000 to 16000 and 25000. The extended model performed much better than its fine-tuned counterpart and was one of the top performing models among all LAMA 2-7B based models. However, we did notice that the 25,000 variant performed worse than the 16,000 variant on some datasets. This is likely due to the trade-off between having a larger context window, which allows the model to access more information, and maintaining position precision, which can be compromised when the context window is increased. We also extended the context window of the Mistral 7B model to 16,000 and found that self-extend significantly improved its ability to handle long contexts. The fine-tuned variant of Mistral 7B, Mistralite, performed better on most datasets, but many of these datasets were included in the fine-tuning data for Mistral Lite. Finally, 
we extended the context window of the newly released Solar Minus 10.7B model from 4000 to 16000 and saw a substantial improvement in performance. In summary, our self-extend method performed comparably or better than methods that require further fine-tuning on two benchmarks. This was surprising, as we initially only expected self-extend to outperform the base model without any extension methods. Considering that self-extend only takes effect during inference and doesn't require any fine-tuning or training, this is a significant achievement. Typically, methods that involve learning perform better than those that don't, not just for extending the context window of language models, but for many other tasks and neural networks as well. Section Summary Existing methods for extending the context length of language models, LLMs, often rely on language modeling and synthetic tasks, which may not comprehensively reflect their long context capabilities. To evaluate the performance of LLMs on real-world long context tasks, we use two benchmarks, LongBench and LEVAL. Our results show that self-extend significantly improves the performance of LLMs on these benchmarks, outperforming fine-tuned models and achieving comparable or even better performance. This is surprising considering that self-extend only affects inference and does not involve any fine-tuning or training. Section. Performance on short context tasks. We'll now discuss how our method, self-extend, performs on tasks with short contexts. Ideally, any method that extends context length should not negatively impact performance on tasks that traditionally use short contexts. To evaluate this, we used the Hugging Face Open LLM leaderboard and tested self-extend on five public benchmark tasks. These tasks included the 25-shot ARC Challenge, the 10-shot Hella Swag, the 5-shot MMLU, the 0-shot Truthful QA, and the 5-shot GSM8K. Our findings, which are detailed in the Open underscore LLM table, show that self-extend doesn't significantly affect the performance on these short context tasks. This is because self-extend doesn't require any fine-tuning and only comes into play during inference. This makes self-extend a dynamic plugin that can be automatically disabled when dealing with short text sequences. As a result, the language model can maintain its original performance on short context tasks without any changes to its parameters. This is an added benefit of self-extend, especially when compared to other methods that require fine-tuning and often experience performance degradation on short context tasks. We also conducted an ablation study to understand how different group sizes and neighbor window sizes affect the performance. This study was based on two real-world datasets from Laval, GSM-100 and Quality. The GSM-100 dataset isn't very long, with an average length of 5.5k and a maximum length of 6k. The quality dataset is longer, with an average length of 7k and a maximum length of 8.5k. We didn't choose extremely long datasets because we wanted to test smaller group sizes. With a group size of 4 and a neighbor window size of 2048, our model, Llama 2 Chat, equipped with self-extend, can handle sequences with lengths less than 10k. The results of this study are summarized in the ablation figure. 